The power button is held for three seconds to power on the instrument and held again to power off. Pressing the backlight button will turn on the illuminated display for better screen visibility and dark lighting. The escape key will bring you back to the previous screen if you have made any incorrect selections or, if pressed multiple times, will bring you back to the measurement display screen. The up and down arrows will cycle through the measurement values displayed on the screen. Finally, the print button will send all of your data to the Testo IR printer once pressed. The three orange buttons located in the center correspond to the data displayed on the screen above them. The left button will scroll left or right. The center button will start and stop your measurements as well as enable you to select a setting. The right button will access the instrument settings. Additionally, if this is your first time turning on your instrument, you will be asked to set up your location settings. The first setting will be for the area code. This is displayed as a number between 1 and 5 and corresponds to specific countries. Choose your area code with the arrow keys and select by pressing OK. You will then continue to set up the units of measure for pressure and temperature with the arrow keys and confirm each by pressing OK. Repeat this same process to set the time and date. Note that PM and AM displayed as PN and AN due to the one digit display. On the topmost section of the display, you will see four symbols. These symbols correspond to the four different measurement tests that the analyzer can take. You can select these measurements by pressing the left orange button. The black arrow below the icon will indicate which measurement you have selected. There is a standard flue gas test, an ambient CO test, a draft measurement, and a differential pressure measurement. When first turning on your Testo 310 combustion analyzer, you will hear your pump activate and will notice a 30 second countdown displayed on the screen. This is the sensor zeroing feature and will happen every time the instrument is turned on. It is important that whenever this zeroing function is performed, that it is done in fresh air, preferably outside, so that a proper zeroing calibration is achieved. On your flue gas probe, there is a probe cone. This cone allows for the flue gas probe to be properly seated into the flue gas duct. Since the access points may be different sizes from one system to another, the probe cone is stepped up gradually, always ensuring a proper fit. Before starting a test, be sure that you set the correct fuel type for your application. To do this, press the right orange button and scroll through the fuel list with your up and down arrows. You can select natural gas, propane, fuel oil 2, biomass, or wood. When selecting the flue gas test, the measurement values are displayed on two lines. However, additional measurement values are calculated simultaneously and can be viewed by the up and down arrows. The up arrow will scroll through the top line's measurements and the down arrow will scroll through the bottom line's measurements. When you are satisfied with your readings, you can send your measurements to the optional Testo IR printer by pressing the print button. Selecting the ambient CO measurement will set up your analyzer to measure CO in spaces around a home. Pressing the center orange button will start and stop this measurement. It is important to note that cigarette smoke will influence the measurement value by more than 50 parts per million. When selecting draft measurement, it is important to start the test with your flue gas probe outside of the flue. You can then start the measurement using the center orange button and a draft zeroing countdown will appear on screen. Make sure that the probe remains still during this countdown to achieve a proper zeroing. You can stop the measurement by pressing the center orange button again. When selecting differential pressure, you will see the term plug appear on the screen. This indicates that you must remove the yellow cone filter in the back of your probe handle and replace the filter with the orange plug. To access the filter, rotate the plastic cover counterclockwise to unlock. You will find the orange plug stored conveniently in the space provided in the back of the probe handle. Remove the yellow cone filter and replace it with the orange plug. You can then put the plastic cap back on the probe handle and rotate clockwise to lock it back in place. Once the plug is secured in the probe handle, you will need to secure one end of the silicone hose that is supplied in your kit to the end of the probe shaft. Make sure that the hose is covering all of the openings in your probe. You will then start your measurement with the start stop selection indicated above the center orange button. The display will begin a countdown to zero the pressure reading. Once the zeroing is completed, you may connect the other end of the silicone hose to your measuring point. After the measurement is complete, 
press the center orange button again to stop your measurement. A buildup in moisture will be collected in the condensate trap from continuous use. This level of moisture can be monitored by the view window located on the side of the instrument. The buildup in condensate can be emptied by pulling the condensate plug located on the top of the instrument and draining the liquid. Never let the moisture level reach the max fill line. Once the condensate trap is emptied, be sure to fully seal the condensate plug. Leaving the plug out or not fully seating the plug will cause air to be pulled into the system and lead to measurement errors.